do we really need the noise? I'm so sorry. I've got workmen out that side and I've got my washing machine going on in another room. So you're just getting the real life backstage experience today. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Layla Land. Tell you what I'm not excited about. This situation. It's not about. Luckily, we're going to cover it up because today I'm going to show you my everyday winter makeup um i posted a selfie recently in just my everyday makeup look and um got lots and lots of lovely comments so i thought i would show you it's, it's just dead simple but it looks really nice and you just look a bit more groomed um but yeah it's like the simplest easiest thing in the world so i thought i would show you all and um and see what you think so let's just get started all right so primer i am still obsessed with the nyx honey is it dew me up yeah honey dew me up primer which is this honey gloopy AF primer and it's got little flecks of gold in it. I've just realised I don't have a mirror with me so there we go, bear with. I know we have a mirror, please do bear with. Um, so yeah you will have seen this in my favourites a couple of days ago because I literally am obsessed, I love it. It's a really gloopy formula so it does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, no idea if I'm putting this on correctly but I just tend to um, spatula it on to be honest and kind of press it in almost so it gets in all the pores because trust me there's thousands of them and it just look can you see that sheen there it just leaves you looking really dewy and lovely and healthy okay foundation wise i'm still using the um conceal and define foundation from revolution i will be switching this up soon probably back to my nyx hd foundation just because as the weather gets colder we've got the central heating on um my skin does dry out um this hasn't actually been too bad on my dry skin but i just prefer to use more moisturizing ones when it does get into winter but for now i'm still using this one so i use a combination of f3 and f5 which are the more pink or undertoned light um shade foundations so i tend to use these two um in conjunction and i just put the lighter one where i want the lighter parts to be so down the center of my face and under my eyes and then kind of along just above my jawline. And then the F5. I'm just going to fold this neck down actually. Then I'm going to go in with the F5 um, everywhere else basically. Oh, it's so creamy. Then I go over that with a wet sponge. Now at this stage it's up to you can you see how putting the two different colors on in strategic areas is kind of already given as a slightly contoured effect um it just it just for me it just takes out that flat kind of effect that you end up with if you just use one color and also because of the look i'm going to be doing on my eyes um i kind of go in and do a little bit of contouring on the eye with the foundation to start off with it just gives it that dimension from the get-go um now it's up to you at this point whether you go in again and why is the van parked totally the wrong way okay i live on a one-way street and there's a van parked the wrong way just in the middle of the road okay right then um okay so as i was saying it's up to you at this point um whether you go back in with any more i am going to just because i like a super 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 full coverage this foundation is a full coverage but i like it to be mega full and i don't put a huge amount on to begin with um so i prefer to build it up and get the effect i want rather than putting too much on in the beginning and just trying to like tone it down a little bit so i'm gonna go over that again and just give myself an extra full coverage today because i've got a lot of filming to do i've got a lot of jobs to do um and that's just what i want to do and it's my face so pfft. okay now i'm happy with that I'm I'm gonna go in with my collection sheer loose powder in translucent i think oh barely there there we go and i am going to powder my face okay now that's all done it's on to contour and i'm using the revolution pro hd palette Okay, so bronzer next. I know it's winter, but I still want a bit of a bronzer effect going on. So I'm using the Ultra Bronze from Revolution and just a big fluffy brush. Ooh, obviously, we're not going overboard, but I do still want a bit of colour. Um, and obviously, contouring is totally different to bronzing. So even though we've just put a bit of contour on, we still need to bronze.
that's gonna go on the high points of the face so if you think of where the sun would hit your face that's where you want your bronzer to go and if you're not sure where that is literally shine a lamp on you and, and look at where the light falls on your face there, so that just gives us a nice healthy glow it's not too sun kissed it's not like we've just come back off holiday <laughs> though i wish i had um it's just giving us a nice healthy glow i just realized my camera stopped recording and i don't know when it stopped recording so i'm really sorry um hopefully you saw me put bronzer on i hope um so i'm on blusher at the minute revolution ultra blush palette sugar and spice doing that um and i'm using the orangey one first and i was just saying that i learned to use orange as a blush very very subtly first from watching drag tutorials and i was just saying that us girls are sort of expected to have this basic knowledge of makeup through watching our mums put makeup on or um you know watching our girlfriends put makeup on and you know getting ready to go out together um and i just think boys aren't really expected to have that prior knowledge as much as girls are so yeah so i found watching drag queens do makeup tutorials far more um they're far easier for me to have got basic knowledge from because they explain why they're using certain colors and why they're using certain techniques because they're not expected to have that basic knowledge so for me as a girl i didn't really grow up putting makeup on I didn't really grow up putting makeup on with I didn't really have a lot of girlfriends um I didn't really sit and watch my mum put makeup on and if I did she certainly wasn't explaining well I'm doing this because of this and I'm doing it wasn't like a full-on tutorial like woman had things to do um so hearing drag queens doing makeup tutorials has really helped me do makeup because they've explained things like I'm going to use this to cancel out this color I mean you know in drag makeup they're doing so much more than we do um, in terms of covering up stubble, covering up beards, covering up different, you know, they're, they're kind of creating illusions and totally changing their face shape. So to be able to sit and watch a drag queen do a drag tutorial and pick up little things like green colour correctors, violet colour correctors, um, where to put certain colours to make um, an eye socket look bigger or a cheekbone look higher or you know just those little things and i can't i think it was in alaska if you go and look up alaska makeup tutorials i'm pretty sure it was alaska that mentioned putting the orange first as a blusher base and that helps the blusher to pop and just look a bit nicer on whatever skin color you've got so i always use that one first because on me it's got quite an orangey tone okay and then i'm gonna go over that with this pinky mauvey one in the corner which is my fave I tend to, rather than putting the blusher on the cheeks, which can make me look really chubby, I tend to use it up in a stripe, sort of along my cheekbone. So I don't smile for that one, but I do kind of just accentuate my cheekbones without pulling a face. So that when I'm just sitting still, it's still giving that kind of elongated effect there. And whatever's left on your blusher brush, just a little dot above each eyebrow and on the chin just balances that out and leaves it not looking as two pink stripes there i'm not a huge blusher girl i don't like it to look very obvious that i've got blusher on but it does make a difference to a look okay so i like to do eyes at this point and this is the easiest eye look you will ever do in your entire life okay so first i'm gonna have a drink because i'm a bit tired <sighs> this is my caffeine totally shattered okay so fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be using the Belle Jordan palette from Obsession because I am obsessed with it still. I'm totally in love with this palette. And thank you so much if you've watched the video I did testing this palette out. I've had such lovely, lovely comments from you. So thank you so much. Right, what am I going to use? So I'm going to use um, 1706, which is this gorgeous mauve colour down here. Mauve was my favourite colour. Remember at Junior's Girl, people would be like, what's your favourite colour? Don't know why they all talk like that. And I'd say, mauve. And everybody would be like, what's mauve? I had to be that child. So I'm just popping that into the crease. The tiniest amount goes such a long way with this palette. Honestly, it's incredible. Oh god, it just blends so nicely. Okay, so then I'm going to change brush to a smaller blending brush and I'm going to use I'm going to use a dab of hot sauce, but just a very small amount. 
and that's also going into the crease. Then back to the original brush just to blend that. Okay, then with the big fluffy blending brush, whatever's at the corner, I then like to bring down onto the outer V. One, it diffuses it more. And two, just makes it a bit more subtle. You don't have to put any more product on and make the look too heavy because it's just an everyday, doing the jobs, feeling fabulous kind of look. I mean, listen, if you want to go and do your shopping and pick the kids up with a full glam heavy eye on, you do that. But this is my everyday look. There is no shame here if you want to go out with full beat. That's absolutely fine. And if I did see you in the street, I would applaud you because I think it looks ruddy fabulous. But for me, I just do this one because it's quick and easy and I don't have to deal with it and worry about needing it touching up during the day. And don't be scared to get your hands involved and like... For me, just getting my finger under my eye and doing that creates such a nice little sweep underneath. But yeah, get your finger in and blend it. Okay, now I've got that where I want it. I'm going to take uh, a little bit of Mama's Girl, which is a little bit deeper of a mauve than the first shade we used. And I'm just going to use my finger with that one. And that's just going to go just onto the eyelid. Okay, so that's that for the shadow, but now I'm going to do the eye oh, this is the bit that really starts to make this stand out now. So I'm using the Renaissance um, liner from Revolution. This has been my favourite for months and months and months. Ever since it came out, I don't think I've used a different liner. I love it. Okay, so we're going to do a wing. Cross your fingers, everybody. I've been saying this for years. People used to look at me like I was stupid. I remember being stood on the schoolyard about 10 years ago when Charlotte was in junior school. Um, absolutely tiny and um, I used to do a flick not a proper wing but just a little flick and people used to say how can you do it I can't do it and my tip has always been start from your lower lid and um, if you start from your upper lid and you start your wing there it's too high up it doesn't follow your eye shape so you literally want to think about your eye going narrower wider back to narrower and sweeping back out again so use that point on your eye to sweep it out and take it towards the end of your eyebrow not right up there unless you want that far that's fine um but not that far but you kind of want to line up between the corner of your eye and your lower lid and the end of your eyebrow so we're gonna go and literally line the pen up just line the pen up and it'll follow wherever you're going There's one, and there's two, and now we're going to join them up. So at this point, then I go and draw my lines. So then I switch the pen around so that the point is at the top, and I just make the point a little more defined. Then you want to join the line up don't start right at the end so start a little bit further down hold your mirror down look up if you need tilt your chin up if you need to and just draw a line down towards your eyelid and however at what point you then join the eyelid determines how thick your wings gonna be And then you literally just colour it in. Did that make sense? I really hope that made sense. <laughs> Same again on the other eye, so we make the point a bit clearer. Oh, I've got an eyelash turned the wrong way around and it's poking me in the eye. Rude. wings done so now we just join the rest of it up so look down into your mirror and draw your line as close as you can get it to your natural lash line 
and then because we've already done the wing we can join it we can make it join into the wing that we've already done I really hope that made sense. Let me know if you want me to do a video on eyeliner because I'm not sure if that made sense or you could see what I was doing. So we can do a dedicated one after Christmas if you really want me to. The biggest tip I can give you with winked eyeliner is do not rush. If you are in any kind of rush, you are not doing a winged eyeliner that day. Just, just make your peace with it. Um... One of the main reasons I love this eyeliner so much is how easily it goes on. It literally just glides on and is the blackest, wettest black as you're applying it. It dries down to a sort of satiny finish, so it doesn't stay that kind of the wet look. One that does stay that is the NYX uh, Vinyl Effect, I think it's called. But it's the NYX Vinyl Liquid Eyeliner, and that does stay looking the really shiny black. This dries down, as I say, to a satiny kind of finish, but it's beautiful. Okay, so I also like with this look as well, just to put some eyeliner in my lower lash line, in my waterline, sorry. Um, I don't do lower lash line with eyeshadow at this point, just because I just don't want it to. I want it to be a bit clean. Um, so for this one, I use the Revolution Line and Flick, which... Didn't impress me massively on the felt tip side, but on the coal end, um, I think it's brilliant. And it's my favourite one for doing in my waterline, and it doesn't budge all day. So just hold down your lower lid with your little pinky finger, and that gives you somewhere to rest as well. Um, and just draw that into your waterline. And just look at that for a difference. I just love it. It just makes such a difference. This one's really tickly and my eye always waters. There we go, ready for mascara. Have a guess what brand the mascara is by today. If you haven't used the Revolution mascara, the mascara revolution, just pause this video, get on revolutionbeauty.com and get yourself one ordered because, oh my God, this has been the holy grail of the year honestly it's ridiculous look at the size of the brush look at all those bristles it is the thickest most intense black best coverage mascara i have ever used oh my god i love it if you don't like clumped together eyelashes just you just need one coat of this if you do like that clumpy thick eyelash oh my god use like two or three coats because it's amazing i love it look at that one dip has done the top and the bottom of that eye <laughs> love it ellie thought okay that's the eyes done seriously look at that mascara it's ridiculous <laughs> i love it okay onto lips and i'm using the nyx i want to say liquid suede but it's not it's the suede lipstick so it's not the liquid suede which i'm obsessed with as we know but it's the suede matte lipsticks look how gorgeous that package is it is beautiful so this one again is another mauvey kind of nudie purpley look and this one is called lavender and lace and it's just gorgeous so yeah this is today's lippy just look how pigmented that is so like the liquid suede, I know that if I put a liquid suede on, that will stay all day. I'm not sure if this is one of the long wearing ones as well, so I will report back if I can. Um, but yeah, blotting. Does anybody still do that? Does anybody still blot? Okay, on to my favourite part, which is highlighter. And I've rediscovered my love of the fan brush. I can't remember when it was, but I, literally, I think last week or the week before, I was using, I was rushing putting makeup on, grabbed the first highlighter brush I could get my hands on, and it was this one, and then was like, oh, oh, and went out basically like the tin man because I just rediscovered my love of this brush. So I'm going to be using the girl's best friend diamond highlighter from I Heart Revolution. And I think this is just from uh, Primark. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love highlighter. Elixir. Okay, and then for fixing spray, I'm using the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix, um, which just gives you lots and lots of moisture, plumps your skin up, sets your makeup. I mean, tick, tick, tick on all them boxes. And just look how dewy 
and lovely that makes your skin look i mean come on that is it that is my everyday winter makeup look i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's given you a couple of ideas let me know what your favorite thing was i think for me um my favorite thing is the lipstick um i really like the color i really like the pigment i really like the finish it went on beautifully so yeah I think so. um <laughs> loving the mauves that are around at the moment um as i say it's just an easy color to wear and it's a nice color to wear it's just it just goes with everything without being being too purple but without being very very nude so yeah this is me this is my everyday bit of a, a nice easy eye to do a nice winged eyeliner lots of mascara nice co nice coordinated lip lot of highlight because ching why not um so yeah i hope you've liked it let me know what you think um let me know what your favorite everyday makeup is do you do something like this do you do the no makeup makeup look do you like to go all out glam every day no matter what you're doing no matter what day of the week it is tell me all about it thank you um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already please make sure you leave me a comment please make sure you've got your notifications switched on please tell all your friends to come and spend christmas with me in layla land and i will see you in tomorrow's video have a lovely day whatever it is you're doing i love you very much and i will see you tomorrow bye